Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is called uh, Multiply by Fives and Tens. Okay, this is lesson 4-2. All your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com, and you'll find uh, fourth grade, you'll find lots of high school stuff there. I teach high school in Sacramento right here. So our common core strand, uh, there it is for our teachers, and our essential question is uh, we're going to show you how many... Uh, show you different ways to multiply by fives and tens, okay? So, let's try a problem here. Lampel uh, plans to read five books in a month. After six months, uh, five books a month. So after six months, how many books will this be? Okay, so how many months is this asking for? Okay, it's asking for a total of six months right here. And then uh, how many books will she read each month? She's going to read five books a month. So it's five books right there, okay? All right, so what we're going to do first here is we're going to use skip counting to, uh, to find 6 times 5. And, and by now, you should know how to count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20. Remember how to do that? Okay, so we're going to skip count by 5s, and we're going to do it 6 times. So here's the first one. I already gave that one for you here, so I'm just going to go count by 5. So 5, and then this is going to make 6 numbers here, counting this first one right here is 5. So 5, 5 times 2 is 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. So there's 6 uh, times 5 right there, okay? So 6 times 5 is going to be 30, okay? So uh, Lampel read, uh, plans to read uh, 30 books in 6 months, okay? So she does 5 books a, a, a month, and she's going to do it for 6 months. All right, so each book, uh, we're going to use a number line this time. So each book contains 10 chapters. How many chapters will, will Lampel read in a month? Okay, remember she reads five books in a month. So this one's going to be uh, five times ten. So we're going to, uh, um, one jump on the number line is going to equal ten chapters. Okay, so we're going to jump five times because uh, Lampel is going to read five books in a month. Okay, so here's, uh, oh, and then we're going to uh, draw the five jumps of the for the five books and then ten of the spaces at a time are going to represent the number of chapters right here, okay? So here's a one jump, so there's a, a one chapter, okay? Remember she does a, a five books, and she, not one chapter, that's ten chapters right there, so there's ten chapters, and that's one book right there, and she's going to do five of these, so let's do another one. So there's another book, so two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, so we're just jumping this on the number line by ten, because it's ten uh, chapters in a book, so we're counting by tens, you guys. Okay, so here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? So uh, we landed on the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? So 5 times 10 is going to be that 50 right there. And let's answer the question. So Lampel will read 50 chapters in one month. Boy, that's a lot of reading. She must like to read. Okay, so the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 are all multiples of 10, okay? And a multiple... Uh, of 10 is any product that has 10 as one of these factors. Here's 10 times 1, this is 10 times 2, 10 times 3, 10 times 4, 10 times 5. These are all multiples of 10. And so what do you notice about all the multiples of 10? And I kind of gave you a hint on this slide right here. I highlighted them in, in purple. Okay, see how all the multiples of 10 end in 0? Okay, so if a number ends in 0, it is also a multiple of 10. All multiples of 10 end in a 0 right there. That's a pretty good little trick right there. All right, here we're going to use a bar model. Now, Lampel bought three packs of book covers. Each pack cost 10 cents. So how much did the covers cost in all? Okay, so here's a model right here. So there's my, for three 10 cents for our, our 10 uh, or our three uh, packs of book covers, each one's 10 cents. So if we add all those up, 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30, okay? So let's think about this. So uh, one unit is 10 cents, so three units would just be 3 times 10. And we already know 3 times 10 because we just added them up right here is 30, so this is going to be 30 cents. So let's go ahead and, and record this. So 3 times 10 is going to equal 30 cents. So let's answer the question. Uh, so the packs of book covers will cost... 30 cents in all. Okay, nice quick lesson. I hope you guys are doing great. Take care.